There you go, folks. You've been warned by the sign and by Wendell. Do not swim at low bar sands at any time ever because you will probably die. Now this is an absolutely beautiful stretch of beach here in Cornwall, just near Helston, but it is notorious for being incredibly dangerous to swim and the advice is pretty much by everyone that's local and by the uh, Coast Guard and just anybody that knows anything never ever enter the water at low bar sands. This is without doubt the most dangerous beach for swimming in all of Cornwall. So why is the beach here at low bar so dangerous, so notorious? Well, a lot of people have unfortunately drowned here and in recent times it's been uh, made aware to me that several people have been spotted going into the beach here despite all the signs warning people never to swim at any time. And the main reason why it's so dangerous is the obvious strong currents. You can see it's a relatively calm day but the waves are crashing away behind me. But there's also a very steep shingly shelf just below the waterline and that coupled with the currents just means that once you get in the water you could very easily get dragged out and not end up being very well off. I think to my knowledge the last death there was down here was in uh, 2020 last year when uh, a gentleman and a young lad Peggy no! Peggy! No! See even Peggy isn't allowed in. Peggy this way! Dangerous Peggy come on! Come on Peggy! This way! Yeah so the, uh, the chap and the, uh, the young boy had to be rescued and the young boy survived but unfortunately I don't think that the man survived there's also, in 2014, there's a, uh, a death that unfortunately made it onto the news of uh, a chap in his 20s who uh, went bathing here on New Year's Day and he washed up in two days or a day or two's time round in Port Levin on the beach there. So I don't think the warnings can be stark enough. You can get into trouble in the waters in Cornwall on any beach at any time of year but when the warnings are as abstract and harsh as they are here at low bar sands then you really should pay heed and not enter the water. Now what Wendell's going to do to show you how dangerous it is I'm going to strip off and enter the water here at low bar sands just to show you how dangerous it is. I'm just kidding folks. That would be an absolutely ridiculous thing to do. And I do plan on making a few more vlogs before my time is up. Actually, a few of you have commented on some of my videos when I do go down to the beach and said, Wendell, why don't you take a dip? Well, I do take a dip from time to time. And I did plan on making Peggy. Peggy has a death wish. I do not fancy Peggy coming on in there and fishing you out. Yeah, so a lot of people have asked me from time to time, Wendell, why don't you take a dip in the sea? Well, I did plan to take a bit of a dip in the sea and film it the other day, and I was going to do it in the safety of St Ives at Porthminster Beach, but it's that busy in Cornwall at the moment that I couldn't park for love nor money, and after an hour of trying to park, I gave up. So I think I'm going to abandon St Ives until the uh, six weeks summer holidays are over and then I might go back there and make some kind of video. So this is the memorial for the shipwreck of HMS Anson which in the early 1800s, 29th of December 1807 to be exact, 
HMS Anson, and not Anson, like Wendell here, Anson with an N. It wrecked here at Lou Bar, and approximately 100 officers and men perished at the wreck here. One of the worst wrecks in Cornish coastal history. And the uh, bodies of the, the people that died at the Anson shipwreck, because a law hadn't been passed until the year later, where people that died in shipwrecks had to be given a Christian burial, the bodies of these perished souls are buried in this area, in the cliffs and in the sands of Low Bar. It's quite poignant really to think about that, isn't it? But where we are now, such a terrible thing happened in the sea behind us. I mean, can you imagine what it's like on a stormy day here? This is a calm day and it's still raging by the shelf that I spoke about earlier, right next to the drop off at the shore. Can you imagine what it was like if you'd made it round the lizard and then you came and wrecked here? Terrible story. Low bar sands, low bar, low bar pool. So, what else is interesting about this beautiful, very untouched area here near Halston? And the low bar pool, which we'll have a wander down to now, is the largest body of fresh water here in Cornwall. And it's separated by just a few hundred metres from the sands here at low bar from the very dangerous beach, although it is very beautiful. What a beautiful contrast, folks, between the azure blue waters on this sunny August day and the freshwater lake just a few hundred metres away from it. Just a, maybe a hundred metres from the windy conditions on the beach there and the wind has dropped off down by the pool here and it's incredibly serene and peaceful. Beautiful. On the hills above Low Bar as well seem like a bit of a mecca to mountain bike enthusiasts. There's some pretty amateur looking kids cycling around behind me but I've seen some pretty extreme looking professional types as well and now as I walk around these uh, tracks I'm a bit worried about a mountain bike coming around the corner at 20 miles an hour and crashing into me, Peggy and Spud. Yeah, if you climb the uh, tracks on the hills just to the east side of the beach here, the views are much better than on the other side. You can see the fresh water pool there, the sandbar and the treacherous beach from a much higher altitude. It looks very inviting down there, but I assure you folks, it is deathly dangerous. Keep out of the water at low bar. I almost forgot to mention, folks, another interesting fact that I gathered about low pool here is that there's evidence that there is a World War II plane submerged on the bed of the pool there. So this really is quite an interesting, fascinating, beautiful and not overcrowded part of Cornwall. When I set out this morning, the weather forecast gave me no inclination whatsoever that it would turn out to be such a beautiful day. And the moral of the story here, folks, is always come prepared for all weathers when you're out trekking in Cornwall. You're so close to all the different coastlines here that the weather can blow over from grey, miserable, even stormy, to sunny, and vice versa, almost in the blink of an eye. So make sure you're ready for storms and make sure you're ready for sun and you keep everything you need and the space to pack up what you don't need in a backpack. Thanks for joining me at Low Bar folks. Hopefully people, a few people see this video and maybe it stops a few people unwittingly 
entering the water. Although, to be honest, there are that many signs around that you'd have to be pretty daft to go in there. Until next time, folks. Right on!